What up morning guys? Welcome to a disaster zone. I swear the snow is still falling. <laughs> it is still snowing like crazy. I don't understand why the snow is sticking over there but not over here. It is wild in the zoo today, you guys. I tore the plastic off the chicken coop. The stuff that we use to keep it warm. This chicken coop was warm the entire winter. Like we were shook by how warm it was. Some of the time we had heat lamps going in the brooder, but it was warm all winter, like so warm. And now I just took that plastic down, freezing cold. So that plastic, people always wrap their chicken coops in plastic. But honestly, it works. That stuff, that stuff works. So this little piggy went to market or she went to the chicken coop to find food. Go outside, out of the chicken coop. Listen, listen little piggy, we don't eat chicken food. No, go outside, out, out. Get out, <laughs> get out. Come on Nelly. <laughs> so we've, been <laughs> she stops, she slides in the snow and slides to a stop. We've reached the stage where I can just open the door, let her out with the dogs. She runs out, does her business and comes right back to the door. But I suspect, I suspect it has more to do with the fact that it's freezing cold outside and not that she wants to come in. So I saw some comments, a bunch of comments, about me being firm with Ellie. Let's go this barn. Me being firm with Ellie the other day, I was teaching Good, our Willow baby pig. That she needs to. Okay. I was teaching Ellie, I was teaching our baby pig how to come, teaching her the rules of it. I taught my 17 month old puppy to come long, long, long ago. She knows how to come. And unfortunately, somewhere along the, the way, I taught her that come Ellie means she has a choice. And come Ellie means that she doesn't have a choice. I feel like it's the same with kids. My kids know when I'm being serious or when I mean business. And they know when what I say is somewhat negotiable. I say sometimes, sometimes I say things in a way that they know that I'm saying, no, you can't do that. But I'm, accept, but I'm allowing them to negotiate with me because I want them to prove to me that they actually can do it. And then I might change my answer. I find that I do the same thing with our animals. And I feel like most people do, or a lot of people do. So when I talk to Ellie and I tell her to come, sometimes I'm asking her and... The only one that came her. And she understands that language. So when I say, come Ellie, I mean, you need to come now. It wasn't that I'm being mean to her. It's not that I'm being mean to her. It's that I expect her to listen. I expected her to listen at that point. And with the pig, I expected her to be learning. So I was extra careful with her. And Ellie does get treats when she comes, sometimes. She did all the time when she was just learning. Sometimes she gets treats when she comes, sometimes she doesn't. And I do that specifically as they get older so that they never know when to expect a treat and when they might be pleasantly surprised and I find that that helps uh, to encourage them to come every time because you never know when the time is going to be that you get a treat. I know that because everyone does it differently it can seem confusing to some when I said come here piggy 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 and when I said come now Ellie. <laughs> totally different things but because they're totally different animals and I was expecting different things from both of them. I expect Ellie to listen at 17 months old and I expect the piggy to need encouragement to come because she's still learning and she's a baby And that's exactly what I did with Ellie when she was a baby too. Should bring the horses in again. Do you think? No, she's soaked. I hate she, She's not soaked. Why don't you put a blanket Under on her? Under this top layer is completely dry. I know and that's what fur is supposed to and do. And she's not even cold. Look at her. I know but I hate them being soaked. Willow's miserable though. Well, all right, let's just No, because Yeah, let's bring them in why? Because they like being outside. <sighs> she only came in because I think she thought I had treats because I was trying to call Willow. All right, we'll call Willow. It's cold in here, actually. Let's check the temperature. There's so many things that happen behind the okay. scenes, scenes on our farm, and right now we're preoccupied with getting Sophie's horse. It's zero degrees in here. That's freezing. Let's see, that's 32 probably in Fahrenheit. Uh, yep. Right now we're preoccupied with getting Sophie a horse. Been exciting. There's a lot of excitement going on, like trying to figure out if this is the right one or if this is the right one, or lots of excitement, a lots of. Dad's go -karts. This is all I have. What? I left her halter dad's go -karts. This is all I have for 
Why'd you leave your halter down at the goat barn? Anyway, it's a lot of excitement. I'm trying to get past this part where it's like this last little hurrah for winter. Isn't it weird though how like winter happens and you accept it and you know it's coming and like you just deal with it. You just go with it and you deal with it and it's winter and you know what to expect. But then once it gets really warm out and winter comes back, it's like done. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I'm so tired of it, but I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm trying to see past because by Saturday, it's supposed to be like warm spring. So like 62 degrees and I love 62 degrees. We are in the process of finding Sophie's horse. We are thick into the process of finding Sophia's horse. It's only gonna get more exciting as the next couple of days and weeks go by, as the next couple of weeks go by. Oh my goodness, everybody is so wet. You're okay. Are you excited to like actually have a horse again and have to do all the work for it? Not have I know. Like I saw somebody who said to us, like I saw a comment the other day saying like, you used to ride all the time in winter. You used to like go to the barn and ride your horses all the time. And that's true. It wasn't necessarily because we wanted to. It was because we didn't have a choice. When you board your horse, you still have to take care of it. It's not anybody else's responsibility just because it's, a, it's housed off your property. So when you board a horse, you still have to go there. You still have to clean their feet every like few times a week. You still have to brush them a few times a week. You still have to like physically be there and make sure that everything's okay with them. Make sure that they're eating well. Make sure that like there's no issue. So we had to be at the barn th at least three times a week. We had to, we didn't have a choice because we had horses there. So because we were there, we would just go and we would ride. Now that our horses are on our property, we're here we can take care of them and we can see them. And, and we don't have to like drive for 40 minutes each time. And Sophie and I are both the same. Riding in winter is not our favorite. Like it is miserable outside, it is miserable. That's it, yeah. she's done. Well, it's cold, my hands are too. I know, I can't feel my, cold, my hands either. But anyways, I'm excited. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like renewed energy, renewed excitement because Sophie's gonna get a horse and I just. That's what we need to learn, to turn around when I stop. Like, cause I just said we'll go through the door and she stops. Yeah, Penny does that too and turns. And... But Penny doesn't know that, she just stops. Well, you gotta teach it to her. I know. She's a baby. I know, but you want to breed horses. She is going to be bred. I would breed her, but she's, she's retired. She's okay. retired. Not only that, she's an old girl, and she's already had five babies, and we promised her when we got her that we would never do it again because breeding horses, breeding animals, like horses are so... It's good to be bred in a couple of years. So Sophie's dream is to breed her and she already has it all planned out. She's studied and studied and studied breeding horses. She knows everything about breeding horses and she is, that's her plan. That's her dream. And, and one day she's going to breed her. Not today, not tomorrow, not next year, but one day she's going to breed her. Willow has given up five babies. Actually, we had a chance to buy her baby. It was her last baby. It was a boy that looked exactly like her with blue, bright blue eyes. That's why I thought she was going to be the best to take in this baby, but no, Gracie was Yeah, isn't that funny? What is she looking at? Though? We thought, like her. She's just we thought Willow would be so super maternal and that she would be the best one to take in Honey when we got her and she was really young. And the truth is that it was Gracie. It was Gracie, the one horse I never would have dreamed that would have taken on a baby because she seemed like a very immature kind of horse. But nope, she loved Honey the moment that we got her. We have a lot of videos of that on our channel about how we tried, like we brought Honey, we got Honey, and we brought her, and she was just a baby, eight months old, just freshly weaned, and we brought her. And um, we had her on one side of the fence and all the horses on the other side of the fence, and we let them all come up to her. We watched and watched and watched all the, all the, we watched to see which horse we thought was actually going to take her under their wing and love her and treat her kindly. And we watched every horse and every horse that we thought would do it did not do it. The one horse we thought would reject her and like want to kill her was the most loving ever. And she took on her mom role and is still to this day her mom, even though Honey is two years old now. We were so fortunate and so lucky and 
We are so blessed to be able to see the love that horses have for their babies. Like, it just opens your eyes, guys. It just opens your eyes to the amount of love that animals have. Anyway, we left the goats in today. We let the horses out. I have an entire list of things that are waiting for me to do, and I can't wait to do them. One of them, our farrier will be here soon. We do a farrier every six weeks. We'll be here soon. And one of them is to clean this room, get it all started for show season, and get it all ready. I'm excited. Gabby complains that she can't bounce on her toes for a long time. Try it, everybody try it. Let's have a competition, just wait. Let's see, back up. We are going to both stand on our toes for and see who does it for the longest. Three, two, one, go. You're pushing me. <laughs> Gabby says she can't stand on her toes for a long time. Can you guys stand on your toes for a long time? Are you standing on your toes? Yes. <laughs> it's actually, Harder than you think. Are you? Did you quit? No, I'm up there. <laughs> You're not. Yes, I am. There's something behind me. <laughs> yeah, that's cheating. No. It's actually so much harder than you think. Ah! <laughs> Don't push. I can walk on my toes for a long yeah, time. Too. It's easy to walk on your toes. All right, get back here. Then okay, I'm done. <laughs> It's actually hard on your back. It was hard on my, it's hard on my lower back. The snow is still falling down, but by tomorrow it's supposed to start being above zero again, above freezing, starting to be warm again. Oh God, does this door lock? Oh no, Sophie is so strong. Oh, you're gonna break the door. Come on. <laughs> no, look, I have my foot against it. You're gonna break it. Okay, you gotta move then. <laughs> no! Sophie, I'm gonna tell dad. Don't do it, Sophie, I mean it. You'll be grounded, I'll take your phone. I'm being serious. You don't throw snowballs. <laughs> it's still snowing now. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can just barely see it. Ellie, get back in here, come on. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> People think I'm mean to you because I say, come Ellie, <laughs> come on. Anyway, we stayed in all afternoon. It's just been miserable and yucky outside. I did get a delivery today though, and it's this. It's that viral crab. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's like this little crab and he travels back and forth and if he bumps into something, he senses that he's about to bump into something and he just goes back and forth and back and forth and people use them for dogs and people use them for babies. So you're probably thinking, Lori, did you buy that for your dogs? or your goat, or your horses, oh, that would be so fun. Oh my gosh, she'll be. We need to get this for our horses. That would be so fun. But in fact, I bought it for a baby. I told you guys that we're having a new grandbaby soon, and it's their baby shower soon. They're having a baby shower. So I this year, I my theme is toys. So I've been collecting some toys through Amazon. They requested this toy. It's like a little, play mat and then I got this crab and then I want to get another toy at least one more toy before the baby shower but that's my collection so far if you guessed by the color of that piano my new grandbaby is going to be a girl she'll be here soon a few more months so super exciting another girl I know that my grandsons love horses too especially baby Jack who's not a baby anymore but he really likes to ride um, but in my experience it's the girls who stick with it longer and so I have another girl, another opportunity, another rider for little rider for Gracie. So uh, riding got canceled for tonight because of the weather. I can't remember, there's a reason. I can't remember why riding got canceled, but we did reschedule this week because Gabby missed last week and then uh, she's gonna miss next week and because she has things that she has to do. It's that crazy time in the year. She missed last week. I don't want her to miss three weeks in a row. Ellie is stalking my pig. I hate to say it, but Ellie still does not love her. And it's not her fault. <laughs> the pig loves me and Ellie doesn't love that the pig loves me. Right, Ellie? Right? <laughs> the funny thing about the pig is that she makes noises that I've never really heard before from pigs. She makes a sound that's exactly like a, like a squeaky toy. She likes me to scrub her tummy, but then... Did, did you guys hear it? She does it better. Yeah. The one thing about having animals though, inside as well as outside, is that when you are bored in the house doing nothing all day because the weather's so bad and it's not fit out there for man or beast, that you always have somebody to cuddle up with you and, and 
and keep you warm on cold days. Come here, piggy, 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 piggy. Come here, piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> She grew a lot, you guys. Her body got so long. Ooh. <laughs> Ellie's like, I will get her. Oh, she ran away. <laughs> Ellie is my guard. Don't you know that you're